Hey everyone, Rogue Guild here, and today I didn't have any big video ideas planned. That was until I was scrolling around on Reddit for a few minutes and came across this headline, which is The Division 1 running on the Steam Deck, no streaming. And if you want to go check it out for yourself, I am going to leave a link to two different Reddit threads I plan on referencing in this video down in the description. Both were done by user Neo Dark, so huge shout out to them for uh, testing this stuff and reporting on it to the community. Uh, but yeah, Valve's latest project, the Steam Deck, which if you didn't know is a handheld device made with the intention of being able to port the vast majority of Steam's massive library to a handheld device, and it is now confirmed that the Division 1 and 2, which we'll get into, can run on there, which is both a big deal in and of itself, but I also want to extend this conversation to something that we haven't talked about in quite a while, that being the Division Mobile, and connect that to some of the wider trends of the gaming industry that we are currently seeing. So I'm pretty excited for this one, should be fun to talk about. Let's get into it, starting with the division on the Steam Deck itself. Again, links in the description to those two threads if you want to go check them out for yourselves. But I figured that some of you might be interested to see what kind of performance the game is getting on there because... You know, The Division is not a light, quote-unquote, game. It's very graphically involved, has a lot of action and whatnot, but according to Neo, in their playtime thus far, The Division 1 is averaging 50 to 55 frames per second on medium graphical settings, uh, whereas The Division 2 is averaging 46 frames per second on those same settings, which isn't hugely surprising. Uh, you know, The Division 2 is well documented to have received some big graphical improvements via Snowdrop over the Division 1, primarily in the lighting department. But the big takeaway here, even if it's not the ber the best performance out there, the Division 1 and 2 are running on a handheld device, better than last generation consoles, I might add, which are, of course, capped at 30 FPS and usually somewhere between 1080 and 4K. So pretty darn impressive, if I do say so myself. So I thought that that was worth reporting, you know, in and of itself. I imagine that at least some of you would be interested to hear about that. And honestly, if they weren't hella expensive and I, if I had no impulse control, I would probably consider buying one of these, uh, but that's a huge, you know, amount of money just to have the Division on the go. It does raise the topic, however, that uh, this is also what I wanted to dive into here, of the Division Mobile. We haven't talked about it in a long time. There hasn't been any news or leaks whatsoever, at least that I'm aware of, on it since, you know, it was, allow it was announced uh, last May. But I think this news of the Division on the Steam Deck is a perfect example of why we shouldn't discount this mobile game that we're going to be getting. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not more excited for this than Heartland, Division 2's content, the movie, none of it. I did a ranking video of my excitement for the Division Universe stuff a little while back, and I put mobile in last place because it's a mobile game. It could never surpass my interest on other Division stuff. However, it, that does not mean that I am not interested in it at all. Right? And judging by the reactions to this Reddit post, the Division 1 one was posted two days ago, has nearly 800 upvotes and dozens of comments of people asking about the performance and saying it's cool and whatnot. The Division 2 one, which was posted 22 hours ago at the time of this recording, has nearly 500 upvotes and the same volume of comments. To say that there's no interest in the idea of the Division in a more portable format is silly. And I've said it before and I'll say it again, as much as people want to clown on Ubisoft and clown on the idea of the Division being brought to mobile platforms, it is a strategically smart move for the company to do when their overarching goal is to build an expanded content universe around the Division IP. Mobile gaming is the largest category of gaming in the industry, without question. You can look it up. More people worldwide play games on their mobile devices than anywhere else. Franchises like PUBG have begun to receive more and more frequent content on its mobile version than on the original PC and console-based ones because it's just that popular and profitable. And, like I said, I will always be more enthusiastic and excited for mainline division game content than anything mobile could ever do. But if a mobile division game is going to introduce the opportunity to expand the division's reputation, widely grow the worldwide audience, and bring in a new cash flow for the franchise, 100% sign me up in support of its development. And the thing is, it's probably not that far off. Again, we have very little information on this. It's honestly the division project we know the least about. At least, you know, Heartland, we know who's making it, the movie, we know the lead actors, the time period, all of that. Mobile, we don't know who's making it, what type of game it'll be, nothing. However, I think it's going to release this year. I don't have any evidence to back that up, it's just my own theory. But it actually, for once, seems like Ubisoft got somewhat ahead of the curve. Or at least is like smack dab in the middle of the curve for this surge in mobile interest. Apex Legends just recently released their mobile client, which has had a lot of buzz surrounding it, you know, in the last few days. And Activision just announced a few days ago that Warzone Mobile is now in development. And I'm sure it already had some work done on it, but to see this hiring post tied to the announcement... It just makes it seem like the division has a solid lead on this trend for once, which I don't know is just kind of reassuring in a way. Like I said, I expect to hear more about the division mobile this year. 
E3 wouldn't be a bad guess, I think, and perhaps the biggest question people have been contemplating ever since the announcement is, what kind of game is it going to be? Is it actually going to be like PUBG Mobile or Apex Legends Mobile, where it's literally just a mobile version of the main game? Or will it be just a Division-inspired mobile game in a different genre, like Tower Defense, XCOM, or something else? I think the last time I talked about this, I said it could go either way, but I think I've landed on my final prediction for now. And that is, I think it is going to land right somewhere in the middle. I do not believe that this will be a Division 2 port on mobile, but I also do not believe that it's going to abandon the third-person looter-inspired concept. I believe that the Division Mobile will be a simplified, toned-down version of a game similar in style and structure to the Division 1 and 2. I think the third-person combat will be restructured to work on mobile. There'll probably be a bigger emphasis on using cover because of that. I think it'll be set in a brand new location, not New York, DC, or the Heartland. And I think it's gameplay loop, whether that be main missions or open world or some type of more structured replayable mode, will revolve around killing enemies, looting them and the environment, and equipping more and more powerful gear to take on greater challenges. Personally, I think that's what we can expect for multiple reasons. One being the infamous survey that I've talked about before. I believe it was in November of 2020. There was a survey sent out to a large portion of the community, myself included, where they asked you many questions, basically asking if the Division 2 were to be playable on mobile, at first, would you be interested in that? And also, if so, what qualities of the experience would be most important to you with options like controls, graphics, audio experience, and more? And so because of that, and because Ubisoft isn't blind, right, they've seen the success of PUBG Mobile and others, which are, you know, basically parallel and adjacent games to the main game. They share the same controls, the same, you know, type of content, yet it receives its own maps, weapons, microtransactions, etc. I think it only makes sense that they're pursuing a true to form division experience on mobile devices that even if it doesn't hold their attention, it will catch the eye of any fan of the mainline division series. And I think the reception over the last 48 hours to this news of the division running on the steam deck, even if it's a smaller sample size on Reddit, whatever it's exemplary of the type of buzz and success that the division mobile could potentially receive if it's done right. And again, because they've been working on this for so long, because it was announced nearly a year ago and nothing has come out since, it gives me confidence that this isn't just going to be some cheap tower defense game with a Division skin. I believe that they are crafting a real quality Division experience for mobile devices that, for the sake of the fans and for the sake of the growing franchise, I hope is good and does well. Because even if you're against the idea of mobile gaming or you don't personally enjoy it, this could have a huge positive effect on the brand as a whole. And so I am personally very intrigued to see how all of this develops and eventually comes to life. Thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and be sure to subscribe with notifications on so you can be updated every time I upload. Let me know your thoughts on this whole conversation. Firstly, the Steam Deck stuff. Do you think it's cool to see The Division running on handheld technology? And do you plan on trying it out? And second, what are your thoughts on The Division Mobile? Do you agree with some of my analysis about its significance and its potential gameplay offerings? Or do you have your own opinions and interpretations? As always, be sure to leave any and all of your thoughts down below, especially with a project that has so little known about it, like this one. I'll be curious to hear what people are thinking about it at the moment because uh yeah we haven't talked about it much here on the channel and certainly not in a long time but yeah everybody that's going to do it for me today once again thank you all so much for watching i hope you have a wonderful day and until the next one guys row gold out